this video I'll configure load balancer I'll have two virtual machines one will have Apache install and the other will have Nginx install and I'll configure load balancer on this so first of all let's just create virtual machines click on virtual machine click on create Azure virtual machine and then select your subscription and resource group give it a name VM01 and select your region I'll select region and I'll keep all the parameters by default click next to the disk I'm not changing anything then on networking I'll select my virtual network and the subnet then next management I'm not gonna change anything and for monitoring I'm not gonna change anything and in the advanced tab I'll just put some custom data that will install Apache during the provision of this virtual machines next create I'm not going to to give any tag to this then I review and create and let's wait for the final the validation final validation has been passed now click create download the key file and let's wait for the virtual now machine, the virtual machine to be has been provisions now let's create another virtual machine create a new Azure virtual machine and repeat the same procedure select your resource group your subscription give it a name select your region and go all the way from this network and just post the custom data in this machine I'll just install Nginx on this just review and create and let's wait for the final validation the final passed. validation has been passed click on create download the key file and let's wait for the VM now to be this provisioned. virtual machine has also been provisioned go back to your home page select click on the virtual machines and as it can be seen that VM1 and VM2 has been click provisioned click on virtual machine 1 go to the directing create an impulse load and open the port 84 that is server similarly for virtual machine 2 go to the directing and add an impulse load the ports has been opened for both of the virtual machine go to virtual machine 1 overview blade copy the public IP address of this virtual machine and paste it in the browser as it can be seen that Apache is running on virtual machine 1 similarly go to virtual machine 2 copy the public IP and paste it in the browser as it can be seen that Nginx is installed on this virtual machine now just Go back to your Azure portal and let's type load balancer. Click on load balancer and just create a load balancer. Select your subscription and resource group. Give a meaningful name to your load balancer and select region. I'm going with East to US. I'll keep all the default parameters as it is and I will click it as public load balancer click next and I'll assign add a front-end IP configuration so let's just click on this give it a name conf IP and I'll create a new public IP I will call this public IP 01 click OK click add and now just click next to the backend pool and we will add our backend pools in this just call this pool 01 sorry and select your virtual network and I'll go with the IP addresses so I have the IP address of dot zero four and dot zero five click save and click next to the inbound rules click on add a load balancing rule I will call this LB role and I'll select my the printing IP that is created I will select the created pool and I'll type the port 80 and for the backend I'll also give it 80 port now I'll create a help probe there is no one created so I will create a new help probe I'll call this health one and I'll keep all the parameter as it is and I'll just click save for the outbound rules I'm not specifying anything and just click review and create 
the final validation has been passed now click on create okay. the load balance has been provisioned now go to the resources click under the setting front-end IP configurations and just copy this public IP just pass it over here and you must see one of the web browser Apache is running on this so once you, when you create this it might be just because it is cache this but when it when you run this on a different server and after some time Nginx may be surf on this after opening this in another tab and refreshing the page for several time I got Nginx web server now now let's get back to your Azure virtual machine uh, your Microsoft Azure and what I'll do I'll go to virtual machines and I'll just click on virtual machine 2 I'll stop this virtual machine and will wait until the state is changed from running to DL virtual machine has been stopped it's stopped now go back to your public IP of your load balancer and just refresh this it must pointed me to the default page of the Apache that is running on my second virtual machine now it gets back to this restart this and just stop the virtual machine one that has Apache installed let's wait until this status change okay so now the virtual machine has been stopped the one having Apache installed and the one having Nginx installed has been restarted now let's get back to the browser and refresh its IP I should have been I should have now pointed to the Nginx look that is so that is pretty much it from this video I hope it you have learned something new thank you so much